Hello everyone. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we are all ready to go now. So my name is Gracie and I will be teaching you how to make paper beads today. Um, so welcome. So uh, I believe you should have gotten a supplies list uh, and in that supplies list you will need a straw or you can also use, I have a skewer here, so we've got straw, skewer, you can also use a toothpick. No, oh, I use my toothpick for my glue, so I will not be using it for the beads. But the, um, if you see the skewer here, it's kind of the same thing. So I'm going to be using that. You will also need some glue. And I brought three kinds of glue to show you that you can, all of them work well. Uh, the best kind is this tacky glue. Uh, but this one's actually all dried up, so I will not be using this. But if you do have this, it's a really good glue to use. Uh, we also have this uh, Elmer's School Glue, and it's a gel one. This one works perfectly fine. And what I'm going to be using today is just a basic Elmer's all-purpose white glue. Okay, in addition to that, you will no, try to make it so you can see my workspace a little more. Uh, so in addition to that, you'll also need some magazine paper. And if you don't have magazine paper, that's totally fine. Uh, you can also use some scrapbook paper, like the one I have here. And you can also use just kind of normal paper, like this one here. So what we're uh, trying to make is paper beads. So paper beads, in the end, it can look like this. And this is actually one that I bought. So this is, uh, this is a really nice one, but it's not necessarily, uh, I won't necessarily be able to make one quite as nice as this. Um, but if you can see this one, they also made these nice little beads in between. You can see that to space it out. So I think that they did a really good job on this one. So I actually bought this one in Africa in a country called Uganda and uh, there's a lot of women there who actually make these sort of paper bead necklaces and sell them. And so they are much more the expert than I am, but I will do my best to show you how to make them. And so as you can see, they, they used uh, some different newspapers and magazines and things that help to give them lots of different colors. Okay, so that is what it, it can look like. Uh, these are some ones that I've made. These are just little, you can see them, little rolled up pieces of paper. And this is another type of bead. It's a, it's a little small, so it's kind of hard to show you, but it can look like this. Okay, so let's get started. I'll try to make so you can see my hands a bit more. Okay, here we go. So. What we're going to start with is let's take a piece of magazine paper and what we're going to do, and if you don't have magazine paper, totally fine. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this kind of at an angle to make a triangle. So this is what we're trying to do. If you can see this here, that's kind of the end goal of what we're trying to make right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my scissors and kind of start at an angle here. And so this part of the paper, the wide part, will determine how wide your bead is. And then you want it to be little at the end uh, to help it from getting too thick. Okay. So here we go. Start a bit bigger and then work my way towards a small tip of the paper. Okay, so if you see that, so this here, this is wide up here, and it is skinny down at this end. And so, what that means is that my bead will be this wide, so if you're wondering, Gracie, how big is that actually? Kind of hard to tell. I will tell you. So it is just less than an inch. So if you want to start one end about an inch or an inch and a half, that can work really well. Okay, so now we're going to actually make this into a paper bead. So 
I'll get my little skewer tool here. And I also have the straw because you can make it also with a straw. But I'm going to start with the skewer and then later I'll show you how to do it with a straw. So I've got my wide end here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this part of my skewer or my toothpick next to the paper. So you've got the paper behind it and you're going to kind of wrap the paper a little bit around the skewer. So we'll do we'll just start rolling it like this. And sometimes it can be a little tricky to get it to stay at the beginning. So if you need to um, if you need to you can also set it down on, on the on your surface you're working on and kind of roll it like this because that can keep it in place a bit more. But otherwise, whoops, I just unraveled it. Oh. So sometimes you might run into a little little error like that and you just have to start over. That's totally fine because these are very easy. Okay, so I'm just, if you can see, I just keep rolling it. I'm kind of using both my fingers to keep it in place a little bit. All right. So, we've rolled up a bead. You can always try to tighten it a bit. Oh, I just keep unraveling it, don't I? Okay, so we'll tighten this up. Okay, now at the end, what we're going to want to do is put some glue on it. So you can keep it on here. Now I'm going to get my glue. So I have a little toothpick in here to just help me get the right amount of glue. All right. Okay, so I went into my glue and I got move that a little bit. Okay, so I went into my glue and I got just this little bit of glue on here. And then I'm going to dab it on here, on the main part of the bead, and then smooth it down. So what I did here, if you can't see, is I smoothed down the glue a little bit, and then it can also help if you get a little glue on the rest of the bead to kind of hold it down in place. And if you're using the tacky glue, the tacky glue is going to work a bit quicker, but any other glue works just fine. You might just have to hold it down a couple seconds longer for it to stay. It just doesn't have quite the power of the tacky glue. Okay. So, great job if you've followed along. We've made a bead. So now I'm going to give it a couple seconds. Just let it let it stick on there a little bit so that it doesn't fall apart when we take it off the skewer. Okay, and you can always set that to the side for a minute too and take it off later. So the next way I'm going to show you, if, if you found that this was a little challenging, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it with a straw. Okay, so now I'm actually just going to take this off and show you. Make it so you can see me for a second. Okay, so this is what I've made. There's this little bead. And you can see that it uh, has an opening in the middle so that you can stick a, um, put a string through it and make a necklace or make a bracelet. But if you don't have string, that's totally fine uh, because you can always make the beads and you can figure out the string later. Okay, so now I've got a little collection of beads. Now we're going to make one with a straw. All right, so here we go. I've got a nice green straw here. Okay, and I'm going to, we can start from the beginning here. I'm going to cut another piece, and I'm going to show you how to do it this time with just a piece of normal paper in case you don't have a magazine. So this is just kind of a piece of normal, uh, but orange paper. But it's about the same, same type of paper as a piece of computer printer paper. Okay, so again, if you 
um, don't remember from the beginning, what I did was I started with at, um, a bigger edge and I cut it to a smaller edge. So I can show you one more time. I'm going to flip it around, might make it a little easier. Okay, so I started here at the end, kind of a little bit away. And this is going to determine how wide my bead is. So I'll do it like this. Okay, now I'm going to start cutting towards the edge so that I end up with a bit of a triangle and a point. Okay, so here I've got two little pieces of triangle, triangle paper. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like this, wrap it around a little bit. Okay, so it's the same idea as the toothpick, but we're using a straw. Okay, so here we go. Got the green straw. Wrap, we'll wrap this orange piece of paper around the straw. And we'll just keep rolling it. And you might need to kind of use both fingers to make sure that you're really getting it nice and tight. Okay, and I just keep rolling. Just roll with it. All right, get down almost to the end. Okay, so now, whoops, almost skipped a step there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our glue again. As you can see, here's my glue. I'm going to get my toothpick and take a little bit out of there. Get a little bit of glue, put it down here. Glue is nice and tight. Okay, now I might need to add a little more glue. I don't think I put quite enough on that time. Let me see if you see what I'm doing. Okay, so here's my glue. Get a little bit out of there. Okay. So now I'm going to put a little bit on here. And I'm going to put enough on this time so that I can actually move it around. Move it all around the bead. And this is going to help put a little bit of a seal on it. Now the beads that I bought, they're really shiny because they put an extra coating on it. And you can use uh, this stuff called Mod Podge and that can create a really nice seal around it. But I didn't have any of that at home. So what I'm doing and what I think is a bit easier for us is just to coat it in some glue. Okay, so now we've got a bead. Me and try to slide this off. There we go. We've got we have got a nice little bead. And this one, because we used a straw, you're going to get a wider bead. So if you put it on string, it will move around a little bit more probably than, let's say, one of these little beads that I made. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. Now I can show you to make one more type of bead. And I'm going to use, I'm going to go back to my skewer that I have. And I'm going to use some magazine paper again. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to, and it doesn't have to be perfect either. Um, so this one actually, I'm going to make it, I'm going to cut this edge off and just get rid of it because I'm going to try to get a straighter edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going for a less angled approach here to make a different type of bead. So you just want a strip of paper. Mine ended up looking kind of funny because of the way I had cut it before, but that's totally fine. 
and if you want to know how wide it is, this one is about half an inch. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to get my skewer and I am going to wrap it around. And I'm going to wrap it around a little wider. So I got it going, but see I'm going to actually wrap it around the length of the skewer a bit more. Try to make it tight. I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of wrapping it pretty far along until I run out of paper. And then I can put a little glue on it to hold it in place. This one can be a little tricky, sometimes it moves around a bit. But we're going to give it a go. And this is how I made that bead that was, uh, I can show you in a minute, a little different. So what we're trying to do right now, if I didn't explain well enough, is that we're trying to make one of these, sorry, one of these beads. So it's a little bit of a different type, different shape, a bit of a fatter bead. Okay, so now we've got that. We're going to try to gently pull this off. Okay. So now, so I've got my skewer, put that down. We've got the speed. Okay, so now, pick our skewer back up, and we are going to put the skewer. So we're going to put uh, the paper kind of underneath the skewer here, like this. And we're going to wrap it around and try to roll it up. So actually, for me, this is going to be easier to do it this way. Roll it towards me. Okay. So it's going to it's going to push back a bit on you, but you can do it. Okay, so just keep rolling it up. You might want to use both fingers here so that you can roll it along. Okay, and I'm going to take it off here. Well, you probably actually want to take it on, but here, I'll put it back on here. Good. Keep it in place a little bit while I put the glue on. Okay, so we've got this. We've got our glue here. I'll put a little glue on here. And try to fold it down. Okay, you might want to hold it there for just a couple seconds. Let it let it get a little more stuck. And I'm going to go back and get some more glue just so that I make sure it's really, uh, really stuck there. Okay. Put a little more glue on. And I'm going to go around the bead. Seal it in with some glue. And even though it looks white right now on the bead, it will dry pretty clear. So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just putting this glue around the bead. All right, so here we've got a bead, another bead. So this one looks kind of like the one I made earlier. Oh, it's sticking to my fingers. And if you're worried about it sticking to your fingers, you can always just leave it on the skewer to dry or the toothpick. Okay, so what we've got here, now we've made this type with the magazine. You can see this. Ooh, I've got too much glue on my fingers, it's all sticking. So you can go like this, try to get the glue off your fingers. All right, gotten some of the glue off my fingers. Okay, so now we also have this bead, and this is the one that I made using normal paper. And then we also have this bead, and that's the one we just made 
which has a different shape to it and it's a bit just of a bigger bead. So they were all great, they're just different. Okay, so now if you brought some string along with you, you can make it into a bracelet or a necklace. So uh, usually it's easier to make it into a bracelet if you have somebody to help you actually tie it onto your wrist. But I just have me here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a knot at the end. So if you have trouble making a knot, you can always ask an adult to help you with this stuff later. Or right now if they're here with you. Okay, so we'll go under, and then we'll loop it through. And I sometimes like to make a few knots because this string can be a little tricky. It just helps to create an area big enough so that the beads won't slide off. But once you actually tie it onto your wrist, you won't have a problem. Making a few little knots here. Whoops. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, whoops, Gracie made a mistake. I accidentally broke the string a little bit, but I think it's actually going to be okay. All right, we're still gonna work with this. All right, so I've got a knot. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my beads on the knot. So I'm going to start with a small one, actually. So we'll loop it on here. All right, bead number one. Got another bead here. Bead number two. Oh, silly me, I put this bead in the wrong order. So it helps if you put a bead, if you're going to put the ones that you made with a straw, it can help to put one of these bigger ones in between so that it doesn't overlap the smaller bead. Okay, so I'm just keep stringing these on. When you make them different sizes, it can make it a little bit funny, but there you go. So we can just keep putting these on. Bring them along. Smaller bead in there. Okay, so there we have it. Didn't make a whole bracelet, but you can keep going. I've got this bigger bead here too, which I think I made too big, so. But it can definitely go on there. It would be better for a necklace. I think for a bracelet, a bead this big could be a little tricky. Okay, so if I was to make this a bracelet, I might ask somebody to help me to tie it onto my wrist. So you can put it on your wrist like this. And if my wrist was in there, I would tie it to the amount that I thought was good amount uh, to fit my wrist. Make a knot. There we go. Okay, so the nice thing about this stretchy string is that it makes it so that you can stretch it onto your wrist a little more. I made this too small because I didn't have a helper here to help me get the measure right, but. what you can do. So I actually did a pretty good job with the with the length. So here we go. I've got a paper bead bracelet. So as you can see, I don't make paper bracelets for a living, so I didn't make one quite as beautiful as this, but it's definitely possible if you practice and you keep trying. So sometimes when we start out at things, we're not going to be amazing at them immediately. But 
if you just keep trying and just keep practicing, you'll get better. So, you see my nice paper bead bracelet. And I think I'm going to keep practicing at this like you guys might. And I look forward to making some nicer bracelets too. And remember, if you have some regular beads, if you can see this one, if you have some like little baby beads, you can put in between. Those ones are really good to help uh, keep the beads apart and look really nice because they are similar in size to the opening on the bead. So it just really is a nice little buffer there to make a beautiful, beautiful necklace or a bracelet. See you there? Okay. Now, you want me to show you one more time? I'm going to make one more bead with the straw because I think we only did one with the straw. And now I've got my great bracelet on. And actually, I'm going to clip off these edges because I have a little too much. It's a lot easier to do this if you've got a help. There we go. Okay, so now I've clipped off the ends so it's not quite as much extra strain. Okay, here we go. So let's just make one more uh, with the straw. All right. Uh, this time, let's use the magazine paper. Okay, so we're going to make a normal bead. Okay, so we're going to make a triangle. And this one I've cut pretty small. It's not super long, so that will just make a less thick bead, but that is totally fine. And just so you know, this one is about one inch. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this around. Start that again. Okay, there we go. Now it is rolling. Okay, and I'm gonna put some. Oh, Gracie, what are you doing? Okay. Sometimes this happens. And actually, if you really like making these, they make these tools that have an actual slot in them so that it doesn't fall off. So you can actually stick the paper in the little slot and it really holds it together well. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to put a little glue on it. Stab a little glue right here. That will hold that down nicely. Okay, now I'm going to get a little bit more glue. that all around. Making paper beads. Okay. Great work everyone. I'll give that at least a few seconds to kind of stick together a bit so that it doesn't fall apart when we take it off. And remember this is like, oh it's on my wrist, that's where it went. And this is like this orange bead that we made earlier, if you can see the orange bead. So it has a thicker opening on it, if you can see that there. All right, now we can slide this off. Or if it feels like it's falling apart, you can always leave it on there a little bit longer. Got another paper bead there. Okay, there we go. Wonderful, wonderful. So, oh, it's stuck into my fingers. There we go. All right, I'm gonna rub some of that glue off again. And there we have it. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that your paper beads turned out well. 
and remember that you can always keep practicing and uh, make them uh, even nicer and maybe someday you'll be able to make one of these necklaces. That's my goal. We'll see if that happens. But thanks so much for watching and I hope you had a great time. I had a really fun time making this and uh, remember that you can use magazines and I just pulled this one. Uh, this was just something that came in the mail and it wasn't wasn't a super nice magazine, just a magazine with some ads and coupons. And so it was a great thing to be able to use to make beads. And you can also use this orange paper and also scrapbook paper. So really anything and the materials are really easy to find in your house. So thanks so much for watching again and I hope you have a great day. Uh, remember to check the Facebook page for Get Your Play Online uh, because there are a couple other really fun activities happening today and we have things uh, almost the whole week uh, planned every day. So, or almost every day of the week is what I'm saying. So thanks so much again, have a great day, bye.